And former Boston police officers are caught up in a scandal accused of claiming overtime they didn't work. Investigators say the officers logged those hours and got paid for them. It is a scheme the mayor and the police commissioner are calling very troubling and outright disgusting. WBZ's Christina Hager is live outside Boston Federal Court tonight with the details. Christina? Well, Lisa, at this point, most of the Boston police officers facing these charges have been arraigned here at the Boston Federal Courthouse through a Zoom video conference. Uh, they were all arrested at their homes this morning, and six of them are retired. It's where all of the Boston Police Department's evidence is stored and where nine officers named in this federal indictment piled up on overtime, the FBI says, over time they did not earn. If they're taking taxpayers' money like that, I think something should be done about that. I mean, that's a serious thing because you're talking about in these times where people are struggling to keep their jobs and stuff and, you know, not figuring out how to pay their bills and stuff. It puts Boston police in a spotlight city officials don't want to be in. More than $200,000 allegedly stolen through overtime that was paid for with federal grant money. Court documents show how officers allegedly claimed to work until 8 p.m., but this says the building was locked and alarmed as early as 3.42 one day. In another scheme, officers allegedly said they worked eight and a half hours. But investigators say this shows they often work less than one hour. Their boss, Boston Police Commissioner William Gross, said news of these indictments send a strong message that this type of behavior will not be tolerated or ignored and can damage the trust my officers have worked so hard to build. They should definitely be held to a higher standard. I mean, that's that's basically the, the public holds them to a higher standard. They should hold themselves to a higher standard as well. Mayor Marty Walsh said these allegations are an affront to the thousands of police officers who do their jobs every day with honesty, integrity, and bravery. I'm outraged and, quite frankly, outright disgusted at the utter breach of trust. So six officers pleaded not guilty in their virtual court hearing this afternoon. The judge magistrate let them all go on personal recognizance. One just walked out saying nothing. Three more set to be arraigned next week. In Boston, Christina Hager, WBZ News.